integrate x times the hyperbolic cosine of a times x solution. So there's two ways uh, that I can think of uh, how to do this. One way is to use integration by parts. And another way is to use something called tabular integration. It's just a faster way to do parts. Uh, in this particular problem, that will work. Um, so let's do it the fast way. So when you're using tabular, you need two pieces, a piece to differentiate and a piece to integrate. The piece you're going to differentiate is the piece that, after repeated differentiation, is eventually 0. So x, right? Because if you take the derivative of x, you get 1. And if you do it again, you get 0. So you write down the piece to differentiate, and you just take derivatives. Then you write down the other piece that you're going to integrate. So cosinch ax. And when you integrate cosinch, uh, you just get cinch. But there's an a here. So all you do is you just divide by the a. So it's cinch ax over a. And then when you integrate cinch, you get cosinch. And again, you divide by the a. So cosinch ax over a squared. You can always do that. You can always just divide by the constant a, right? If you actually wanted to show the work, or, or at least it wanted to know why, um, what you would do is you would let u be equal to ax, and then du here would just be a dx. You say, OK, then what? Well, there's no a in the integrand, so you would divide by a. Boom, that's where the a comes from, right? That's where you divide. That's why we're dividing in this process. All right, so in tabular, you pick a piece that you're going to differentiate. And after repeated differentiation is eventually 0. We did that. You pick a piece that you can integrate, and then you integrate. Then you start with the plus sign, and you alternate the signs. So plus, minus, plus. Then you just draw arrows. You follow the arrows, and you're done. So it'll be x over, or x times, cinch a x over a, just following the arrow. That's the first arrow there. And then following the second arrow, it'll be minus cosinch ax over a squared. At the very end, we have a plus c. That's our constant of integration. And that's it.